Hey friends, Caleb here with Prima Coffee. Today we're taking a look at the Malconig EK43S. Malconig is a well-known name in the coffee world, particularly because of the EK43. The EK43 is well known for its um, particle size distribution being very consistent, uh, which is gonna in increase extractions and uh, reduce bitterness and improve sweetness. Um, it is well known for being a versatile grinder. It's able to grind for espresso, all the way up to filter, and all the way up to French press and for cupping. Well, you get that exact same grinder in a smaller stature, reducing the height by uh, anywhere from five to 12 inches, depending on the hopper that you have. So let's go ahead and kind of walk through each part here. Up top, it comes with an 800 gram hopper, though it will fit any of Malconig's hoppers. Um, you, can, you can also exchange this for either you know, an 800 gram, or a 500 gram hopper or a 1500 gram hopper. As we go down the bean path, we'll come to the uh, burr chamber where we have the 98 millimeter flat cast steel burrs. So uh, those are well known for producing you know, those great particle size distribution. Moving forward, we have the uh, adjustment mechanism here. We have this knob which you can turn to get finer or coarser grinds. Um, this is calibratable, so you're able to adjust it with the screw behind this knob and, and um, dial it in for more for espresso or more for filter coffee. As uh, you can see, we have these indicators here. It's, a, it's part of the upgrades that, that Malconic has done with the EK43s, uh, including the EK43S. Behind that, we'll go continue down the bean path to the chute here with the knocker, which uh, can either hold a... Uh, a retail bag or just knock out the remaining grounds. Uh, it, the clearance here is about five or six inches, so it'll fit um, smaller retail bags or it'll fit uh, your porta filter or uh, you know, a single cup um, brewer, um, but it's not gonna fit some of your five pound bags or something like that, so you may want to go with a bigger one if, if that's your case. While it's known for producing great grind sizes for espresso, um, it, do, it does get a little messy, so you want to use maybe a, a funnel or, or something to, to dose into and then pour into your uh, portafilter. Um, as we mentioned, it has received some of the same updates as the other EK43s. We, here we have the, uh, the steel feet, uh, making it more stable and consistent. Then over here on this side, we have the on and off buttons. Uh, which are stainless steel, which are uh, to improve the, the life of this as well. Uh, now that people are using this more for uh, on and off uh, dosing. So anyway, there's some really great benefits of having this, being able to put it in a smaller space. Uh, you got the great benefits of the EK43 and a smaller stature. If you have any other questions or concerns, hit us up. We'd love to talk to you. Thanks.